be here. How are you? Yeah. I am in a great mood, folks, and it's good to be here. I don't get out as much as I, often, I used to, and I'll tell you why. My wife and I had a baby a while back, and without a doubt, the modern-day woman is the most incredible species on the planet, and let me tell you why. The day my wife and I found out that she was pregnant with our little girl, my wife quit caffeine like that for the health of the baby. And that was just amazing because that's not the way it was done when my mother was pregnant with me. <laughs> my mother put so many toxins into her system during my pregnancy, I flew out of her hoozy riding a piece of driftwood. <laughs> I have a gift. I have a gift, and one of those, it's a, it's a great gift. It's, uh, I don't worry about anything. My daughter just turned three, and at her third birthday party, my wife was frazzled with all kinds of things about the future. She actually turns to my father-in-law and says, oh my God, I'm so worried about finances. So my father-in-law, being the jokester that he is, says, you know, honey, by the time Megan's old enough to go to college, it's gonna cost about $100,000 a year to send her. I looked across the table at my wife and so lovingly I said, maybe she'll be stupid. <laughs> college is expensive. I went to college. Cost me $90,000 to get my diploma. Do I look like somebody with $90,000 worth of knowledge. <laughs> Judging by your laughter, you know the answer is no. I got 18 grand tops. <laughs> Which means I spent a ton of money on stuff I didn't get. If you come out of school almost as dumb as you were when you went in, you ought to be entitled to a rebate. You ought to be able to go up to your school on graduation and go, hey, I bought this at your school. And I think it's broken. <laughs> the best part about college, folks, is spring break. And where you go on spring break is always determined by one simple factor, how good you do it. The worse you do it, the further south they make you go. <laughs> No kidding, senior year in college, my friends and I are in Guam. <laughs> Folks, I'm flunking everything. I'm flunking English. My native language. I'm getting a D in Spanish and I'm flunking English. And if you happen to be in Guam, folks, bring a ton of money because stuff is expensive. I'm in Guam for three days and I spent $500. Not my fault. The money down there is nine different colors. It's got no numbers on it either, just pictures of poultry. Cab ride from the airport to the hotel cost me two chickens and a water buffalo. College is a scam. By a round of applause, just so that I know what kind of a crowd I'm dealing with, how many people here went to college? Yeah. So you are an educated group. See the little black market operation they go down at the college bookstore? Where they tell you the going rate for a textbook is 900 bucks. You sell it back to them at the end of the semester, and what do they give you? I got 50 cents. <laughs> Because the little bimbo behind the counter goes, oh, we don't use that textbook anymore. <laughs> what are you doing, rewriting history as we go along? Apparently, next semester, George Washington does across the Delaware in a rowboat. No, no, no. <laughs> he takes a love boat and goes down the Bahamas. <laughs> I will tell you this. If you have kids in school, take out student loans. Hell, even if you don't have kids in school, take out student loans. <laughs> Just tell them you need one, because you never, ever, ever have to pay these suckers back. What the hell are they going to repossess? 
when they come up to you one day after graduation, suck all the knowledge out of your head? Hey, what's your name? I don't know. Apparently, I missed the payment. Oh, you guys are gonna laugh. I actually applied to Harvard University. And you know what they said? No! <laughs> Just like that. They said I wasn't smart enough to go to their school. Ooh. Is it the idea of college to make you smart? I think the dumber you are, the better school you should be forced to go to. Because you need the work. But no, they send the smartest kids to the best schools that wonder why half the country's walking around going, huh? <laughs> I went to a public high school and graduated last in my class. Arlington High School, Arlington, Massachusetts, class of 1986. You can Google it. What would it be like if they got the kid who graduated last give the speech on graduation day? Ladies and gentlemen, graduating last in his class with a degree in woodshop. Stay with me. Your 2009 class dictorian. Mike Pryor. <laughs> wow! When they told me I won this award, I was going to have to write a speech. I'm thinking, shit. <laughs> More homework. Would you believe I forgot to do it? Ladies and gentlemen, I stand here before you very proud that you've given me this award. But I gotta tell you, folks, there are people out there that made me who I am today, and it is those people that deserve all the credit. I'd like to thank Mr. McCauley, my alcoholic social studies teacher, <laughs> who never took attendance. I'd like to thank my math teacher, Miss Pam Slycote, who taught me the metric system. Now I don't get ripped off by drug dealers. <laughs> I knew this crowd would get that joke. <laughs> but the person I most admire is my woodshop teacher, Mr. Carey, who gave me an A-plus in woodshop and I made a bong out of mahogany. <laughs> So I am in debt up to my eyeballs. And if you are in debt, folks, if you are truly, truly in debt, it's not your fault. I swear to God, it wasn't mine. In the mail two months ago, I got a pre-approved Citibank gold card with a $50,000 limit. What the Christ were they thinking? You got an American Express card. They suck. They want you to pay it off in full every month. I don't think so. <laughs> That's not the way this little game is played. Now, in my defense, I really didn't think they wanted me to pay it off in full. I thought that was just some kind of a feel-good incentive program. <laughs> I kid you not, they started calling my house twice a day. Nine o'clock in the morning, my phone rings. Is Michael Pryor there? Yeah, this is Michael Pryor. I'm like, oh, this is Mr. Sweeney from American Express. You owe us $3,500. Do you have our money? No. <laughs> when can we expect the payment? Quite frankly, I don't have a clue. <laughs> I figured I would earn some points for being honest. They figure, what the hell? Why not give them a call back at 2 o'clock? <laughs> you guys see nothing wrong with this? Let me explain the thinking down at American Express Central. I will use this mic stand for all the visual learners in the crowd. The guy from American Express thought that sometime between nine o'clock and two o'clock, I was gonna have a financial windfall. My phone rings again. Is Michael Pryor there? Yeah, this is Michael Pryor. Hi, Michael. This is Mr. McKenzie from American Express. You owe us $3,500. Do you have our money? No. Well, the club I'm working in tonight has Kino, and I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> so here's the thing. 
You guys are out here tonight raising money for a fantastic cause for Right Turn. And there's a lot of goodwill in the hall right now, and that's great. But do not let this one thing that you do here tonight be the one thing for the rest of the week that you do that you feel good about. Wake up tomorrow with laughter in your heart and carry this night with you for the rest of the week. And let me tell you why I live my life the way I do. You never, ever know what is right around the corner. Life is too short. Two weeks ago, I'm down in New York City doing an audition for the David Letterman show. And um, judging by the fact that I'm here tonight... <laughs> should tell you how the audition went. Anyway, I'm walking back to my car, fat, dumb, and happy like I always do, and I got mugged. Yeah. There's a criminal who really enjoys a challenge. <laughs> if you didn't get the joke, take a gander towards the stage. I'm five feet four. Ten pounds of a weight and as blind as a bat. I'm a professional victim, for Christ's sake. You can pretty much get my money with a squirt gun. Put the knife away. If there was a school you had to go to to learn to be a criminal, I would be your first homework assignment. See that geeky guy over there? You want to be a criminal? You're to get his money. Okay. Now, folks, maybe this is a guy thing. I don't know, but when I got mugged, I thought I was going to be brave. I pooped a pickle is what I did. This guy came up to me and stuck a knife to my throat. All right, I tried to exaggerate for comedic effect, but being the smart people that you are, you bought none of it. This guy came up to me and stuck a knife to my throat. Yeah. He's like, your money or your life? I'm like, you want a dill? Get this, I stabbed him with it, took his money, made three grand and paid off American Express. Thanks a lot, folks. You guys have been a lot of fun.